In this demo, we are going to look at NetFlow analytics from a device specific viewpoint. Under the NetFlow menu, there is a sub menu called the routers and interfaces and this tool is divided into three parts. Right now we are showing two, two of them. On the top you select the time frame for which you need to do the analysis. The default is the last 15 minutes uh, but you can select any uh, custom range uh, any day you want for historical analysis. Uh, so let's just leave it at 15 minutes and uh, it shows the routers uh, the devices that are that we are seeing NetFlow traffic from. So here we show the router IP, the name of the router, number of active interfaces, a number of flows that we saw in the last 15 minutes, total volume throughput of the router and we have some other options there. We will look at that. When you select a particular router, it shows the active interfaces for that time period in the third panel. So there are three parts to the screen, interval, router and interfaces. And then from here you can do interface specific reports. So um, before we go to the interfaces reports, I would like to show you some of the other options that are available in this. So the first one is a key dashboard. So in Trishul every item a traffic item has a, a key dashboard. Uh, which means if you click that we have this dashboard where we show the counter group and the item. So we, so routers or, or uh, switches, any NetFlow capable uh, NetFlow exporting devices is called a flow, gen, flow generator and then we have the IP address of that particular generator and then we have various options, drill down options on the right side. So uh, here the most important thing over here is you can change the label change the user, change the label of this device. Okay, so you can change the names, uh, specify SNMP parameters and stuff like that. The second option here is you can get a long term traffic chart of that particular router. This shows the throughput through the entire router, all the interfaces. Our third options are SNMP settings. Uh, Trishul uses SNMP to resolve the router name, the description and also the interface details such as interface speed, interface alias, description, uh, various uh, VLAN names and so forth. And the fourth option is SNMP resolve router and interface name. Now what this does is uh, if you select that, if you select the fourth option, it, go ahead, it goes ahead and tries to resolve the, uh, everything that can be resolved using SNMP uh, at that point. Trishul also comes with an automatic daily resolver uh, which means that once specified SNMP settings then every night, midnight, uh, Trishul would automatically uh, synchronize the names for, of, of your devices and your interfaces with SNMP. We have something called a router tracker. Uh, this is used uh, for uh, tracking IPs, uh, hosts and applications through a particular router in a streaming analytics way. We will explain that later. And the last one is a show router description. So it is just like a, a sys name and sys description of SNMP. So this is where we get it from. So these are the options at the router level. And on the right side we have this thing called a magic map. Now what this magic map shows you is uh, in a single visualization you immediately know which interfaces are pushing most amount of traffic and then it, it helps you just select that interface like from here rather than go down and search for it here. So magic map gives you an idea of the busy interfaces on your router. Okay, so now we have seen the time and the router options. If you click a particular router, Trishul shows the uh, active interfaces on the router. If an interface is not carrying any traffic or if it's disabled, it will not even show up on the screen. We right now we're showing 11 active, 11 active interfaces and we have a checkbox here for show alias. Now the alias, many customers put more information in the uh, interface alias. So that's useful. You can just toggle that if you want to see the alias names. Then there's a box for filter interfaces. Now if I put, I can just type some 
if you have a lot of interfaces, like a thousand interfaces, you can just put some filter and it will show you just those uh, text matching that. And pip, number of uh, interfaces per page, then we can uh, download various types of reports, Excel, PDF, or a CSV like that. So I'm just going to show you next PDF report. So this is just a quick report of your interfaces. Okay, next. Now, just like the router details, we have interface details. I'll just explain the columns to you. So the first column is index. Now this represents the IF index of the interface, the SNMP IF index of the interface. Uh, we saw the alias and the name. Um, we sh then we show the, the traffic inbound traffic in is uh, ingress inbound traffic on the interface. Now this represents the uh, the latest inbound traffic that we saw on the interface for the selected time interval. Similarly, outbound traffic, the latest outbound traffic for that interface for the time interval. Utilization in and out. Uh, this is nothing but the traffic carried divided by the total capacity of that link. Uh, next, we show the total data pushed out and in on that interface in the selected time period. Now we have this uh, little uh, bar chart, bar graphs here, like a spark line. We call it a spark line. So the, if you can zoom in, uh, we have this particular Amsterdam interface is pushing 32 gig, and that represents there's a 30 percent there, and on the out direction it's a 9 percent. What this means is, of the total traffic pushed, this particular interface is 30 percent in in the inbound direction. And uh, it's only 9% in the outbound direction. So it's, it's not like the total utilization, but rather of all the interfaces in the inbound direction, this particular interface is carrying 30%. So it's a useful way to identify which interfaces are carrying load in each direction. For example, this Juniper uh, Edge interface is doing 57% on the out direction. This means of all the out traffic, 57% is on this interface. So I hope that was clear. Now I'd like to just show you a couple of things here. The, the first column has a like an eye icon and some of the eyes are dark and on and some are disabled. That's a feature, it's an advanced feature in Trishul called interface tracking. Now what that does is uh, allows you to produce long term reports of interface usage, a breakdown, breakup of, of hosts, applications and protocols. Now let's look at the options, some of the options available here. If you click the options tab, there's tons of options here. The first one is drill down. Now a drill down is what the users normally would do here. So they would just come here, select the interface and do a drill down, complete breakup of interface traffic. Now I'm going to show that after I just explain the others because that's a separate, that takes some time. The first, then the first, second one is the interface details. This just shows you the details of the interface, which router, uh, various things we have discovered using SNMP, the type of interface and so forth. Now then we have interface traffic. Now this shows you a, a flexible tool to uh, check the interface traffic for any uh, period of time. So for the last six hours you can zoom in, you can export this to a download as a PNG. Then you can also see the totals are shown in the bottom here. So you can uh, use it. So you can use this for any range, not just like you can select any range here. A very handy tool. Then, uh, then we have interface utilization. It's a similar to the interface traffic, but for utilization rather than absolute bandwidth. Again, the key dashboard, uh, like we showed for the routers, every item in Trishul has a key dashboard. So this is the key dashboard for the interface. You can go there and change the names if you want manually as we had, as we had, as I had shown you for the router. The fourth one is a long term traffic chart. Then we have the interface tracker where we can enable or disable. Real time source and destination IP. So here we show the uh, received and topper, uh, topper hosts on that interface. Which hosts are receiving and which hosts are transmitting. Uh, through that interface. Uh, this is again real time, a very useful uh, debugging tool. Uh, it tells you, for example, this particular host 163 
is doing is doing 37 37 mbps 67 mbps and it updates every two seconds so it's a very useful uh, tool real time flows <coughs> again useful uh, tool for debugging what this shows you uh, are the top flows through that interface in terms of bandwidth that's that's being pushed okay here we see source ip source port destination ip uh, forward and reverse bytes and how much bandwidth per flow so you can see the first flow is doing 27 mbps so and then we have real time receive and transmit this is just a simple real time receive and transmit chart that is taken that is derived from netflow okay now this also updates every 2 seconds or so but then we have a uh, more detailed uh, two uh, more detailed options one of them is explore flows and this takes you to our uh, explore flows tool for that interface it shows you the top uh, flow actual flows on that interface you can use it uh, for advanced debugging and so on uh, the last one is aggregate flows the difference between explore flows and aggregated flows is explore flows gives you the raw flows aggregates aggregated flows will just uh, aggregate the various dimensions of the flow for example source port destination port source ip so this shows you the top uh, source IPs, destination IPs, ASN, taggers and so forth for that particular interface. So we have covered all the options here. Now except the first one which is drill down. The general workflow we are seeing uh, we want to enable for the customers is you, you select a time frame, select a router and then do a drill down on the interface you want to go deeper. So I'm just going to drill down here on this one. Okay, so this is the drill down of that interface. I'll just show you, go through this tool. On the top, we have the title bar showing which interface and router. Uh, we also have a PDF button. Uh, you can put this report, uh, this whole thing as a PDF. Then we have the search form, which allows you to like change the router and interface and also the time frame. Uh, so by default, that's filled in with what you came from. Uh, the previous screen. On the top we have a receive and transmit chart, a receive in green, transmit in blue. Uh, you can, we also have the max, min, average, latest and the 95th percentile. Similarly we have the utilization chart. Then we have the interface details, just the what is that interface, what is the uh, name. Okay, now this report also contains a host activity on that interface. So we have the top hosts on that interface. Uh, first we have the total. Next we have hosts that are coming into, which means the ingress. Uh, on the ingress side, these are the top hosts. And on top hosts by out of interface. On the egress side, these are the top hosts. Okay. So we have these, uh, these IPs and uh, you can immediately tell into your interface which are the top hosts pushing traffic and out. On the right side we have a traffic chart. Uh, it can help you like when you're doing long term you can find out which hosts are causing spikes, things like that. Uh, similarly we also have for applications, which applications are coming in. So here we have uh, HTTPS 66%, uh, which interface are going out. So we also have that. You can play with these uh, buttons here to remove or add. Okay, next we have the top conversations through that interface. Source and destination IP and data push. So we show the top 100 conversations on that interface. And finally, we have the top 500 matching flows. These are the actual IP flows. It contains protocol, source IP, source port, destination, destination port, which, which, which device, which interface in and out, and the volume of that flow, when started and ended, a duration and so forth. Then there are further options here, which we will not 
uh, cover here in this demo. Okay, so this was the interface drill down. Now I'd like to like uh, also show you the difference between interface tracker and non-interface trackers. So we we saw this Amsterdam interface. This had this I. Now the next interface does not have this I enabled. So this is a, a interface without the tracker. Now if we drill down to that one. So we see the traffic chart, it's the same, details are the same, but the hosts and applications are looking different. We are not able to show the bandwidth of every host. Okay, so we, we can show the top host by volume, top port special total volume, but we will not be able to show these uh, traffic charts per host. That is what interface tracking gives you. Okay, similarly, uh, we can show the applications. We have the conversations and the individual flows. The thing about this uh, this particular drill down without the interface tracker is that the data is generated from the raw flows. Okay, so here we we take the raw flows and then we do the analytics and then show the top host applications based on the raw flows. Now this is not possible when you have very busy interface that are doing a million flows per second. So for that you need to have the interface tracker. How to do route uh, device level traffic analytics using Krishu. The tool for that is routers and interfaces. And the way you do it is select a time frame, a router, an interface and then any of these options. 